This is XOS, a beautiful, powerful, and totally customizable Linux desktop environment. XOS is based on Arch Linux and comes with four default desktop options Sleeks, which uses the Hyperlin Compositor, Plasma, Kala, which is a tiling window manager, and Theome, which is based on the i3 window manager. In this video, we are going to take a look at XOS with the Sleeks desktop, which offers some mind blowing Hyperlint experience right out of the box. Now, let's begin by installing XOS with Sleeks desktop. To install XOS, I recommend installing it on a separate drive. In my case, this is an old PC with two internal drives. Drive 0 is running Windows 10 and Drive 1, there I'm going to install XOS. Now first, head over to the official website and click the download button. If you have a latest NVIDIA GPU, choose the NVIDIA edition. Otherwise, stick to the standard 64-bit ISO version. Once the download is complete, you will need an 8 gigs or higher USB drive to create a bootable installer. Connect it to your computer, then use Belina Etcher to flash the ISO file onto the USB drive. Once it's done, reboot your system and enter the BIOS settings using your computer's keyboard shortcut key. In my case, I'm going to press F2. Then look for the boot options. Enable USB boot, disable secure boot and save the changes. Now choose the USB drive from the boot menu to load the XOS installation media. Once it boots, click the top right corner to open the control center, then connect your system to the internet using Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. Now launch the XOS installer, click start to begin, now choose your region and click next, then select your time zone and locale. Now create a new user. Next, choose the desktop environment. Since XOS is based on Arch, it offers four different desktop environments. Sleeks, which is based on the Hyperlint Compositor, is the primary desktop environment for XOS. It is the most aesthetic and feature-rich option with smooth animations and a lot of features. Macala is a tiling window manager. If you love tiling setup, this is the one to choose. And the Plasma desktop is fully functional desktop environment customized for XOS to look visually appealing. And lastly, Theome is the fourth desktop environment based on i3 window manager. Now for this video, we are going to choose the Sleeks desktop which offers an impressive hyperlink experience. Next, select your kernel. You can choose to install additional packages such as NVIDIA GPU if you have a compatible NVIDIA graphics card and other GUI applications. Then click Next. Then select the drive where you want to install XOS. I will choose SDB, which is second draft, and click Next. This is the summary of the installation. Click Next to start the installation. But this process will take some time depending on the writing speed of your draft. Once it's completed, reboot your system and remove the bootable USB.
Now this is the login manager for the Sleeks desktop. Now go ahead and enter your username and password. Then choose the Herpelend session. Now upon successful login, you will be greeted by the Herpelend environment. Now this is arguably the best Herpelend configuration you will ever experience. Now Sleeks uses n 4 files with customized version. The first step you should do after setting up the Sleeks environment is to press super plus F1 to bring up the cheat sheet. The super key is the Windows key on your keyboard. This will display a list of key bindings related to specific applications or shortcuts to open wallpapers, working with Windows, workspaces, and much more. I recommend reading this list and memorizing some shortcuts. For example, to close any app window, press super plus Q. Now pressing super plus enter will launch food terminal. There you can see the bash environment. Now let's increase the font size in the foot terminal. In your home directory, there's a hidden folder called config where all your hyperlink configuration files are stored. First, navigate to the config directory using this command, then open the foot configuration and locate the font size setting, then change the value to 20. Save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and press Enter. Then exit with Ctrl plus X. Then close terminal by pressing Super plus Q and reopen it by pressing Super plus Enter. You should now see the increased font size. XOS comes with a built in R helper named Epsilon. Epsilon is a powerful, lightweight, and easy to use package manager for XOS. It is designed to be simple while proving an easy way to install, update, and remove packages on your system. Epsilon fetches packages from the official Pacman repositories and the Arch user repository. It also offers a straightforward way to manage your system packages and keeping everything up to date. Epc works similarly to Pacman, but running Epc as root is disallowed because it can lead to system breakage. Instead, Epsilon will automatically prompt you when it needs super user permissions. To install any package, you can simply type epc install and name of the package. To remove epc install and package name. And to search epc search and the package name. Clicking on the top left corner opens the apps menu where you can see all your installed applications. Now clicking on the top right corner opens the control center. Now this has a layout similar to n 4 files. It includes system controls like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, DND mode, and much more. In the Home tab, you can view notifications, control music player, date, time, weather information, and access the calendar widget at the bottom. There's also a button to reload Hyperland instantly, and clicking the power icon reveals additional options like reboot, shutdown, and logout. The settings tab lets you switch the sound output device and adjust effects like blur, transparency, animations, and much more. If you are playing games, you can enable this option to see the FPS. 
The to-do section lets you create and manage tasks. Now let's open the settings shortcut. Now from here, you can control volume, configure Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, use power saving options and much more. The API section lets you chat with AI models. Now simply choose the large language model you want to work with. For example, I'm using the locally installed Llama 3 using Olama. Now once you're done with this setup, you can enter any prompt and receive response just like magic. Now this is amazing that you can use LLMs without even needing to open a web browser. Pressing the super key brings up the workspace overview and app launcher. This lets you switch between workspaces very easily. Also, the launcher allows you to search for any installed application, making it the quickest and easiest way to launch apps on your system. To edit the hyperlink configuration files, open the foot terminal and navigate to the default key binding configuration file. Now let's add a custom key binding to open the Chrome web browser. Now in this example, we will assign super plus G as the shortcut. Now once you have added the key binding, Save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and press Enter, then exit using Ctrl plus X. Now pressing Super plus G will instantly launch the Chrome browser. To change or update the wallpaper, press Super plus T. You won't see any wallpaper thumbnails for the first time. Just click on Generate Thumbnails and you are good to go. You will find a huge collection of wallpapers over here. Overall, XOS with Sleek's desktop takes your Hyperlint experience to another level with its stunning material theme. And that's all for this video. A huge shout out to all the developers who contribute to making Linux so beautiful. Don't forget to check the links in the description for more information. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.